Hey guys, welcome back to the CNJ show. And I got my favorite, Jen and Juice, here. And I got my sister, Neek. And this is part two. Normally, when we do do these parts, um, you know, because we try to break it up, uh, maybe like we do a part three, part four, and all that other kind of good stuff. But this may be a series because this is this is Mr. Um, Derek Jackson. Mr. Perfect. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Perfect. Now, Jen, you were uh, last talking with the part two. With what you were saying, so you can continue on with that, with this sorry behind man. Yeah, um, I just wanted to, you know, basically say that, um, you know, just in reiteration, it's just the level of hypocrisy is he wins the award. Yeah. There was an award to gift someone for being the number one liar on earth. Yeah. He would get it. Yeah. Because there's no way that you convinced all of these people that you were one way you didn't convince me because i knew it was something up with that from the beginning because he just made himself out to be so perfect and so this and that no that it doesn't life doesn't work like that and you know um like Nick said as well you would think he would have his wife involved or you know whatever because you guys are the picture perfect marriage based on how he was speaking she yeah. was nowhere to be found. And you know what I'm thinking, too? Mm -hmm. How did he get put out? Was it the girl that he cheated on that put him out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She put him out. And now it's a second girl. Yeah, because he said... Then he came out. Yeah, because he said it was... He was like, you know... Because he, he, he... What he said was there was multiple. He said, like, you know, having inappropriate conversations, you know... Um, he said sex. And, and, and that's the cover yeah. up oh, it might have been twice that I probably, you know, when I say, knowing him, when I say sexual, I mean like maybe a hug and a kiss. That is considered sex. I'm pretty sure he's going to come and try to say some something stupid uh, in those yeah. type of lines. It, he, he is. Yeah, there, there's no 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 receipts of, of, of actual, you know, sexual interaction. He's going to take that to the grave. But you know, everybody knows. I you thought know. he he admitted to having sex. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think he did. I think he did. No, he it. did. Admit, he did admit, but I'm just saying how he is. Yeah, he, he is the type it. of person. He keep going and talking and saying so much. So, but the last thing you hear is, and then even with the hug is inappropriate if you marry. You been if I got about everything else that he did. You know what, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna go in I know I said I was gonna eat him alive. I said I did say that because this this just was crazy. But maybe I may I maybe I may do it still. But I do wanna say this. I have a big problem with pastors with teachers mm -hmm. with now, guys, we're gonna say a race. Don't don't take it so personal because you see it. Um, with white men that come on and say this is with the black ladies or black women, what they do and just you know different things. Um, with men like him, they use people because of their power. You're using them. You know what you're doing. You know, you know, just like the I am Scott, which um, I am Scott. If you are listening to this, um, I don't know what I, it, it, no, I'm being serious. If I ever seen you, I, I'll talk you down. Seriously. It's, uh, yeah, I would take you down. Seriously. Um, but neither here nor there. That's, it's all, that was what I just said. But I'm saying even with him. Us black women, we are we just then fell in love with this man and he's so smooth that he got all these tattoos and he you know he's you know he's white and stuff like that. And he, he but I haven't seen a video yet. Maybe I'm pretty sure it is more with one white lady, you know, he's saying the black songs, you know, he's doing a little TikTok, he's singing the songs with the duets, and then you have the black women, you know, showing their reactions to him. You know, that is another way of making, I guess, money and drawing attention to yourself. Like if mm -hmm. it was to go right now and, and um, date someone with no legs. Mm -hmm. 
Right. But, you know? but see, yeah, but see, I think that's what everybody do. And, and, and I'm not And it's wrong, it. though. No, it's wrong it's, it's, because people are looking for love. But that's the thing. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't blame him because I feel like in that situation, whatever you are attracted to or whatever... You know, because you watching me, are you going crazy for me? Are you re you're sharing my video? Are you whatever? That's on you. You get what I'm saying? It's you know, if I found the way, because I I made a made a song this one time. I didn't think it was gonna go nowhere, and now it then went crazy. You mean and, for I am Scott? Yeah. Well, no, I no, I'm like, not saying nothing with him, but I'm just saying like it didn't matter if he never showed blacks. But I'm just saying. The way it could go, yeah, no, how no, no, people I get it. do. No, I get exactly what you're saying. How people yeah. take advantage, you know, of that, knowing that okay, you know, you probably won't date this woman in real life. You wouldn't give this woman else that that type of attention if the opportunity was to present itself. But you're making all of this money. But that's how it's, I've always been with every form of anything in the industry. In my mind, mm -hmm. you know, you 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 know, we we spend a lot of money. We we watch a lot of TV. We're gonna we're the reason why. A lot of people are millionaires and billionaires. It's the black community. Yeah. But that's just what it is. But I do think with the Derek Jackson guy, I feel like with him, with the, the hypocrisy of him, it's just, it's disgusting to me. Because I feel like at the end of the day, I feel like you could have, you could have came out in a different way. You get what I'm saying? But I guess you had to separate yourself from what everybody else is doing. So you Because he didn't to, know nothing else to do unless he was going to be a gym teacher. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess he had to separate himself, you know. Yeah, you know. I mean, y'all, a man don't love you if he ain't gonna do this and that, you know. And if he he he's willing to cheat on you, but do you think maybe Jen too? He did all that stuff because he is like, oh yeah. Um, I think back then he was in his kind of like early twenties when he started. Because mm -hmm. I think even now, I believe he's about twenty eight or thirty. Do you think maybe that was the reason? Cause he, 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 um, you know, when he do get on, he's, he's, he seems very mature. Mm -hmm. Now maybe he started and he was just immature to, to certain things. But do you just maybe feel like one day he just got on the social media and he's seen, like, okay, he already got his body. So let me just put this on out there. Cause he was very young when he started pretending like he's so <laughs> faithful like that but i don't think the age i think if anything the age him being young would be opposite because you know the younger you are the more careless you are the more reckless you are blah 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 i think it was all a lie and a facade even back then because what young guy i don't know any young guys personally that's just on a straight and narrow like that and they just are perfect and don't make any mistakes like that and if they are, the mistake is around the corner waiting on them. Because yeah. that's, it's just too straight. No one can live their life like that. Yeah, it's I like it's miserable. It's miserable. It's miserable. That's like the with, way um, he was talking, it yeah. was just like, Nobody you gotta can. be this way. And if you're not, then you're a scumbag. Right. You're right, you know, right, it's right. Just, it was just so judgy. Mm -hmm. It was so And it just continued. It was so like. To, to do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would think, if anything, him being younger, he would have more flexibility or have more understanding with things happening. In but a you got, but you got to understand something. Y'all don't understand something, right? Well, that's the reason why I was saying by him being so young, his mind just immature. But he caught wind on what he could do in the way right. he speaks. Y'all missing the point, though. I don't feel like it was ever so much of. Okay, I really want to help women out. I really want to give you guys advice. And I didn't say that. I really want to be. You no, know, I'm just saying, like, you know, I feel like the bottom line of it is it was a way to make money. He's made a lot of money. He has a freedom. You're this young and you have the freedom of not punching the clock. You got a free the freedom of not having to work hard for money. You know what I'm saying? You're 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 you're, you're in your car. You're recording. And you got the freedom for the remainder of your day to do whatever you wanted to do, whether it's working on a business plan, whether you are in the gym, whether you yeah. just want to meal prep, whether you want to go to the mall, you want to lay out on the beach. You're able to live every single day like it's Saturday for, and you're just talking to women. You get what I'm saying? Because no men not listening to you. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, not especially not talking and, and down talking every last one of yeah, them. Yeah, and then you're squinting your eyes at the camera. You know what I mean? Ain't no dudes not listening to you. Yeah. So the bottom line, the fact of the matter is that this is a way to make money. And that was the beginning and the end of it. That's an open and shut case. And now you got caught. And that's it. I'm pretty sure. And I'm happy whoever the women are that came forward because I feel like, you know, maybe they made it. Maybe maybe they wanted. Do y'all think it was a situation that, you know, they wanted to see what he cheat? I wanted to see if he's really this no, guy. No, because they don't know. This no. is, guess what, with the whole Me Too movement and the, the right now I'm finna catch all kind of the, the cloud and just come out whether it's true or false, this is the perfect time to do it. Just go ahead on and just put it out there because no, he, he, he's just... No, no, I'm saying, do you think the initial contact with these women was on purpose? Like, let's put him out there because there's nobody this perfect. Let's just see what how far would it go because... What woman that really wanted this, whoever this man is, right? Regardless, whoever. But you know, what I mean? now, now I want to say this now. Before, he was never ever saying he was married. Right. He only spoke about what guys were doing and things right. you should look for. So I'm pretty sure that for a good hot minute was how he was being able to also you know get these women and then nobody didn't really need right. to talk and because he never said that part he right. never ever ever said it and ever. then and then claiming you know you guys were separated mm -hmm. why would a perfect marriage you're so perfect what would you guys need to be separated so about to like i'm with. curious to know what would you even separate it for yeah. you're so perfect mm -hmm. i couldn't imagine you know, I thought you knew how to, you know, how, how, <laughs> how to fix that. You, you know, know, already know how to fix that. Separate. I mean, mean, how are you this perfect and you have to separate from your wife? I think he means when he says separate and, and men, they was in, they were in one household and he was in the <laughs> other waiting for it to get fixed. So for that time, because he is not talking about separation as like far as in a re relationship. Yeah, he's not talking There's about no that. way you had a problem. No. How could you have a problem? Yeah, no. He I can't imagine the man like you having a problem. But you know what, Jen, do you feel now do you feel like this? And and like this is the way I truly feel. Okay, and I know I had said it before when we was talking about one of with one of our videos. I forgot which one. Mm -hmm. But I said this, listen, ladies I don't care what color you are. Please, please, please. If you pay attention, we have to stop falling for every Tom, Dick, and Harry and for anything that a man tell us. Because at this recent moment, right, you guys, uh, Steve Harvey can tell us how to get a man and to keep him. <laughs> now, he's making a book. You got he this. Sell this books. Yeah. And then you got this piece of trash of a low life. And how many times then, have you been married again? Like three or something? Yeah. I mean, but, you know, that's pretty much what his life span. He's, he's, he's older. That can happen. But, but I'm just saying, if you're that perfect, what, what, what happened? I mean, I'm not saying it's Well, no, he always say, you know, as he got a little, he, he, he did some stuff. You know, he, he, he admits to it. He didn't say it. You know, but I guess with this last marriage, he tried to make it work and stuff. But neither here nor there, let me try. I'm just saying, I'm not taking the advice of somebody who didn't been married four times. You don't know the answers. Of course not, but but guess what? I'm saying when it comes down to us us women, men feel this is this is an easy target. Listen, we can get money off of this. I didn't seen um just on YouTube, you know how many freaking ads I didn't seen where they didn't set up there and said, Okay, do you want a ladies? Do you wanna know the right thing? To say that right word when you want to know if he really loves you. Oh, mm -hmm, no. Mm -hmm. And guess what, ladies? Mm -hmm. It's not I love you. It's not that. It got, it's so many things out there for us to see how men love, um, supposed to love us, to see what to do, to do all this stuff. And we flock to this, making them millions of dollars. But what? Could somebody tell me why they don't make a make a book about the moan cells? Like there, there's nothing. Why not make something? And we just want to. How come they ain't doing that? But we fall for everything. And men know what people know when it come down to to women. It's majority of the times it's a you're weak, you're a weak link, 
You're always needing something. You want to be loved and you don't care who it's from or, or what it's about. And guess what? If I can pull anything from out of you, that's what I'm going to do. Because you guys, this is everything. And you don't care. Agree? I agree. Jen? Yeah. I agree. No, no, no. Hey. We're going to end this where, where this is at right now. Cause like I said, we gotta do a we we're hey this is gonna be on Netflix. This is this is, this is it's gonna be a series on Mr. Um Sorry Jackson. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to come back with part three or four. We may come back. We may not. Cause I I think we need a moment to to let our voice rest in peace from this sorry man. I'm so sick of him. <laughs> um, gin and juice. Do like what? My closing. Yeah, just just because he's so sorry. I, I just really can't. All right, guys. This is my closing. Derek Roosevelt Jackson. Yes. <laughs> you are disgusting. Not because you cheated on your wife, because we are all human. We all make mistakes. Yes. Go ahead. But you, you little perfect superhuman wannabe. Yes. Judging everyone on how they live their real lives. Tell it. Come on Emphasis now. on real. Yes. Yes. While you over there in La La Land judging Ooh. everybody. Come yes, on. come on, Jen. I don't want to say it. Lying behind yes. back to the oh. land of lies yes. from which you came. I can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> All of that stuff you said about uplifting our black queens Woo. day after day yes. in those yes. videos with that tight muscle shirt because yes. you know that's what they would fall victim to. Yes, tell it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Maybe tell you it. should get that tatted on your forehead as yes. a re daily reminder because yes. clearly you have no clue Come on. what Come that on. is Ooh. with your lying Ooh. tail. Come on. Come on now. Woo. And to your wife, yes. you are doing great, honey. Yes. Leave him the first chance you get. Yes. We see you sitting there looking uncomfortable and shameful. Yes. The shame is not on you, sweetie. Mm -mm. That's on him. Yes. If you need us to call for help, let us know. Come yes. on. We got you. Because we see how manipulative, yes. lying, yes. and dominating your husband Ooh. is. Yes. Just wink. I and see wink. the tears. Come on, Jan. Just wink and we'll get 911 on the line for you, sweetie. Hello. And lawyers to get your portion of the money. And get yes. all of the money because yes. it's owed to you. Yes. In fact. And, and that's all I got to say about that. And I want um, Mr. Uh, Sorry Jackson, um, because I did subscribe from you, which today I'm going to unsubscribe. But I do, too, want from the time I clicked and I did not um, skip through those ads, I want a little bit of my money back, too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nick. Well, Jen pretty much summed everything up. But I'm going to say this. Yes. Women, pay attention. Stop falling victim to so much of foolishness and lies and talking. I'm not, no means, like I say, no means am um, I saying that anybody should be perfect as, as he was saying that they should be. Yes. But I do feel like in this particular situation, the wife should run and she should run very far and very fast because he's a compulsive liar. Yes. As you can see, he's a manipulator and you will never know when he's telling the truth. He needs help. He needs therapy. Yes. I don't think this is going to end this time. Well, Nick, do you think that we could help him? Oh, oh, us? Yes. No, he needs to go to a to a, to a doctor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He needs okay. he need, he need psychiatric help. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because to come in day in and day out, knowing that you're lying, yeah. and you know, probably sit up there with the video, mm -hmm. and then get off the video to go call this lady on, on, yeah. on uh, to cheat on your wife. Yeah. Right so I'm done. I'm done working. Yeah. I'm, I'm free. So, yeah. 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 I'm done. I'm headed to you now. Yeah. You know, come on, yeah. man. Yeah. But that's that's pretty much it. Like I say, in no means or way, shape, or form am I judging anybody who have cheated or have come across hard times in your relationship. But somebody like that, I just don't have no respect for them. I never have had it because I felt like you know you don't you don't always constantly bring people down. Yeah. You know what I mean? You never have no positive words when people go through things. It's only all about only the women. So at this point, how he has always been all about the one, women, his wife, listen, be all about yourself and go ahead on about your business. You get you somebody who's not going to try to dog you out because, you know, maybe he's a breadwinner or maybe he knows they can get away with it. Yeah. Okay. We're out. Yep. I, oh, I, we